Science fiction books and movies celebrate the abundance of intelligent life on other planets orbiting other stars. These popular fantasies are partly motivated by the Drake equation. Since it was articulated in 1961, it has become one of the most iconic of all scientific equations, stimulating many related studies. With seven largely independent variables, the Drake equation often predicts there should be many exoplanets in our galaxy hosting active, communicative civilizations. These optimistic calculations are, however, not supported by evidence, which is often referred to as the Fermi paradox. In this video, we help resolve this controversy by summarizing and illustrating the arguments of Stern and Guria 2024. We focus on silicate or rocky planets and focus on two components that largely determine the variables F sub i and F sub c. F sub i is the fraction of planets with life that evolve intelligent life, and F sub c is the fraction of planets with intelligent life that evolve technology releasing detectable signs of its existence into space. We explore the importance of planetary tectonic style and the presence of large oceans and continents for the evolution of advanced communicative civilizations, or ACCs. We explore the growing evidence that a prolonged transition from an episode of active single-lid tectonics in the Mesoproterozoic era, 1.6 to 1 billion years ago, to modern plate tectonics occurred in the Neoproterozoic era, 1 billion to 540 million years ago. The evolution of life was greatly accelerated by this transition, which stimulated many more complex organisms to evolve more rapidly compared to evolution rates during the preceding mesoproterozoic boring billion single-lit episode. Plate tectonics dramatically accelerates the emergence and evolution of complex species in three main ways. First, plate tectonics creates complex changing marine and terrestrial realms with changing topography, climate, and precipitation patterns that stimulate biodiversity. Second, plate tectonics causes greater topographic relief at plate boundaries and continental collision zones. This intensifies precipitation, erosion, and nutrient delivery to lowlands and the ocean. Plate tectonics slowly changes these realms and patterns, exerting continuous, moderate environmental pressure. This encourages species to adapt and interact, further stimulating speciation and evolution. Evolution on a single-lid planet like Venus should be slower because the endogenic processes causing environmental pressures are either much weaker or much stronger than those associated with plate tectonics. Changes in configurations of continents, ocean basins, and habitats are minor, but catastrophic changes can accompany mantle plumes. Mantle plumes are much more important for advecting interior heat to the surface of single-lid planets like Venus than they are on plate tectonic planets like modern Earth. Plumes impose much stronger environmental stress than most other endogenic planetary processes, especially their voluminous eruptions on first reaching the surface to form large igneous provinces. Almost 600 plume-related structures are found on single-lid Venus compared to some dozens for Earth over the past billion years. Plate tectonics releases internal heat more effectively than does single-lid tectonics, decreasing the frequency of sudden plume-related catastrophic tectonomagmatic events that may cause global mass extinctions replacing it with a gentler, more continuous environmental pressures associated with the Wilson cycle. In this way, plate tectonics stimulates biological evolution much more than does single lid tectonics, making it much more likely that an advanced communicative civilization will emerge on a planet with plate tectonics. The prolonged operation of plate tectonics thus should be a key variable for a modified Drake equation. We further suggest that both continents and oceans are required for the evolution of advanced communicative civilizations. This is because the early evolution of simple life must happen in water, but evolution of life capable of creating technology must happen on land. This is because only on land can the sky be studied, tool making and metallurgy emerge, and electricity be mastered. Thus, the presence of large oceans and continents is another key variable for a modified Drake equation. We resolve the Fermi paradox by replacing the original term for F sub i, the fraction of planets with life that have developed intelligent life, and F sub c, the fraction of planets with intelligent life that develop advanced communicative civilizations with F sub pt and F sub oc. Can we constrain these variables? Let's consider F sub pt first. Unterborn et al. 2017 found that only one-third of stellar compositions in our galaxy is likely to host planets capable of sustaining density-driven tectonics, such as plate tectonics, 
which sets an upper limit of F sub PT to 0 0.33. Further reduction of F sub PT comes from the consideration that small terrestrial planets such as Mars or Mercury should have strongly lowered convection vigor due to their low gravity and smaller mantle thickness, making the long-term stability of plate tectonics unlikely. Planetary accretion models show that the fraction of such small terrestrial planets can be large, about 50%, which implies a reduction of F sub PT to less than 0 0.17. This estimate is in line with the observation that only one of four active silicate bodies in our solar system have plate tectonics. It is also unclear if plate tectonics is more likely or less likely on large terrestrial planets or super-Earths. We conclude that F sub PT must be less than 0 0.17. What about F sub OC, the fraction of planets with coexisting oceans and continents? Neither dry worlds nor water worlds are good for evolving advanced communicative civilizations. Worlds with both large continents and oceans are best. The modest topographic variations of terrestrial planets coupled with much greater likely variations in the abundance of water suggest that the presence of both continents and oceans on a silicate body is unusual. On Earth, the difference between the average elevation of continents and the average ocean depth is less than five kilometers. This imposes tight limits on the volume of surface water needed to maintain large oceans and dry land masses. For example, the mass fraction of surface water on Earth is about 0.02% and can only vary from about 0.01% to 0.03% to not violate this requirement. In contrast, the expected variation in planetary water contents is much larger, with mass fractions varying from 0 to 55%. The very limited range in topographic relief coupled with the much larger variability of planetary water mass fractions makes coexistence of oceans and continents extremely unusual. Europa Clipper may find signs of life when it visits Jupiter's silicate moon in 2030, but because Europa is an icy water world with 6 to 9% water, it will not find an advanced communicative civilization. By comparing the small variability ranges of relief for planets of different size and the much larger expected variability of water, we estimate F sub OC to be 1% or much less. In summary, the Fermi paradox is resolved because the fraction of habitable exoplanets with significant continents and oceans and plate tectonics is very small. This condition assumes the presence of life and we cannot usefully constrain the probability of this. It may be very small. We conclude that the lack of evidence for advanced communicative civilizations reflects the scarcity of long-lived plate tectonics on planets or moons with continents and oceans and with primitive life. We may very well be alone in our galaxy.